Hello guys, I'm Intrigan and welcome back to Orange Studios. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to remove a background with just a simple click. We are going to use just one tool and then we are going to take away the background leaving the thin hairlines just as they are. So the first thing you're going to do is to drop your image into Photoshop. Now, duplicate the image um, by pressing Ctrl J to, to have it duplicated. Now, the next thing you're supposed to do is to create um, a shape behind the image, a, a shape with a loud color. See red, purple, green, um, neon, any loud color so that you can tell the difference between the hair and the background. So you can actually remove the white background or whichever color the background is from the, 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 the original. Now, so the next thing you want to do is to select the background eraser tool. So you have to go to the eraser tool, shortcut is E. Now you come over here where the, you have the small eyelet here, I call it the eyelet, I don't know the name for it. But you click and hold on it, then you have a, a drop down of other tools. So you'd have to select the background eraser tool and you see the eraser tool with the scissors there, yes. So you have to select this and then we can now start applying. So now what we have to do is to adjust the hardness of the brush to either soft or hard depending on what you're working on or what, what works best for the image you're editing. And then we would also want to adjust the tolerance. Now the next thing is to just go to an area uh, of the image you want to edit, press and hold on the Alt key and then sample out the the color you want to erase the background you want to erase from the photo now the next thing from that is to just click and erase the background as you move along you will notice that once we click along where the hairline is it takes off the background and leaves the hairline so it, it's it's possible because photoshop identifies the area you sampled and the area you want to keep so it will delete areas with similar color codes or color schemes and leave the areas that don't fall in that color region. That's why you are seeing that the hairlines are left behind and then we are able to take off the background. You would also want to take your time, be patient with it, zoom in and then select areas where you can find small, small um, aspects of the background in, in between the hair and then you erase it. So as you move along, you want to adjust the hardness and the softness of the brush depending on where you are working on and what you want to touch on. So it's this simple. I mean, you erase the background with just a click. So now to ensure that you, you didn't leave any aspect of the background in the corners and all that, you want to select the lasso tool and then select around or away from the image around the corners and then just delete just to ensure that you have not left some aspect of the background in some corners of the image you probably didn't see. So you just do this and you are done. You can now drop your image in any background of your choice. I mean, if you were editing this image for a flyer or for a poster, a banner or for anything or any design of a sort, you can just pick this image and drop and it will fit in any background because we easily remove the background. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. 
If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.